my name is Susie Adhall. I'm Associate Dean Interior Design in the School of Architecture and Urban Design. And this semester I've been teaching the Master of Interior Design Design Studio. Um, usually the studio is run face to face and it's usually organised around group work as well. Now, um, as a result of the impact of the COVID pandemic is that many of our students are actually not in Australia or not able to attend class. So the decision was made to offer one studio and to run it concurrently and that all the students, whether they were online or in person, went online in teams. So we were all co-present together. We were all sharing the team's environment together. And so you could look you know, up at the large monitor and sort of see everyone. And then also computer cameras that were on laptops and things that could also then kind of engage with what was happening in the room with people in person. That was kind of really important that it wasn't having two separate environments, like in a hybrid model with 24 students and also having this concurrent delivery mode, it was very important to engage a teaching assistant because then I could just concentrate on being present, you know, online and in person because, you know, they could just think, well, why bother coming into class? We could just all be online. <laughs> So the teaching assistant was somebody that just kept her eye all the time on the chat. And so making sure that people could hear well and just making sure all of that technical side of things was working well. And um, that students online really felt like they, something wasn't working well, they had somebody that could respond really immediately. And I just couldn't have done that as well as, you know, like lead the class. I mean, it was really important to address the issue of sound quality. So we purchased some speaker phones and product placement, but Jabra 750s. And um, that was because uh, they could actually be spread over a distance and they could also be uh, linked. That was a really important and good investment. We also had the cow on with its big, with its camera. So there's this kind of fisheye view of the the space. The other thing that we that was important to do was allowing setup time and that's really kind of key. The teaching assistant she'd come in and just you know set up the room so that it was on a slight angle. It took a little while to kind of make sure that the Jabros sort of connected up by Bluetooth and the synchronization between them working well and it's just really important to allow time for all of that setup because it's, it's really hard having a group of students in person and then a whole lot online who can't hear anything and you know you're sort of struggling with the um, sound setup. What's been kind of really positive and what I've also really enjoyed is having a teaching assistant and you know they've formed quite a close relationship with with Lingus as much as they have you know like in terms of sort of me teaching like they've seen seen her very much a part of the dynamics of how the studios run and really appreciated her kind of just yeah making sure that things run as smoothly as possible I think that they've also been appreciative too of the kind of the speakers and the setup of the room in terms of advice and tips on um, if you're going to attempt something similar. I mean, it's so important to have ideally state-of-the-art equipment, like really good speakers and be familiar with how to set them up so that you can just do it quite quickly. And also visuals like webcams and the use of a very large screen so that there's that presence there. You know, I feel like despite all its challenges, like for me, I sort of really advocate for it because I think it's really great to have students coming into an environment from different, you know, different cities and into the environment of, of the classroom and to sort of really position that as kind of what the future of, of work is going to be like because one of the things that um, I guess has been a bit of a message that we've been talking to them about is just that really this is the way that our design studios now work uh, not not teaching design studios but but design studio practices and so yeah there's a sense that studios being able to run quite successfully um, in this in this way mm -hmm.